Baseball and the Southern League had come to Chattanooga in 1885. By 1885, Baseball in general was becoming the national pastime. It was the sport. And it was popular not just in the North and in the West, but in the South, all over the United States. The problem was for the South, all of the professional leagues that were of any value were north of the Mason-Dixon line. In a post-Civil War America, attracting business to the South and broadcasting a positive image of the former Confederacy was of the utmost importance. So you started seeing these Southern civic boosters start talking about things that were already happening. And they needed to show that things were already happening. And one of those things was a baseball circuit, a professional circuit. Now, not a lot is known about even where the first Chattanooga baseball team played, except for a few articles we found that it was somewhere near the fields of the Stanton House. What is the Stanton House, you ask? It was actually one of the premier hotels in the city. What made it so ideal to have the baseball team there? As you take a look at this plat map, you see that all the trolley lines and train lines come through this area where visitors could stop and watch a day game here in the city of Chattanooga. We combed through the archives and couldn't find any pictures of the original ballpark, but we did happen to find a bird's eye view of it from this map in 1887. You can make out just behind the hotel makeshift grandstands and a ball playing field uh, towards the modern day market and Main Street area. Now, of course, all of this was raised later in the early 1900s to make room for the Chattanooga Choo Choo expansion. The first year of professional baseball in Chattanooga in terms of wins and losses was not a success. They floundered around between fifth and seventh place throughout the year, and there was worry at one point that they might go under. Um, but the, at the time, the, the newspaper, the Daily Times in Chattanooga, the editors implored with Chattanoogans to come out and show support. And Chattanoogans realized that they needed this to be a success. They needed the team to actually get through the year. It would be a black eye on the city if they did not stay afloat. And so citizens in Chattanooga started flooding in to see the games, even though they really weren't seeing great baseball by the home teams. And that's something that exists today in Chattanooga. We really get behind our big projects and we really see the value in these projects and what they can do and what they can mean for our city. Baseball is something that from the beginning drives change, it drives development, and it drives opportunity. They saw that in 1885. Chattanoogans and then other cities across the South saw that. We're seeing the same thing today. A relocation of a stadium, what can that do for an undeveloped part of the city? What does that mean for jobs? What does that mean for development? We saw that in 1885. We've seen it down through the years and we're seeing, seeing it today. Baseball is about more than baseball. It always has been. 